Today we're going to be doing a pretty interesting tour. I'm here by the Schippers Group main office in the Netherlands and they're going to be showing us around today around their main office, their logistics center, and as well as their demo dairy. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this company, they basically manufacture a bunch of hygiene products for uh, swine farms, poultry, and dairy farms as well. We've actually used a few of these products on our dairy farm. But yeah, we just get the opportunity to look inside their business today. And then later on, we're gonna check out their demo farm, which I'm sure is gonna be super clean. And uh, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. So we started out right in their main office and you guys can see it's three floors. The top two floors have offices for their different departments. Uh, they have their main high care department up here as well as some marketing, legal departments. Just to give you guys a couple of examples is more than that. But they also have a main area in the middle where they can have meetings and do presentations for the whole company and everyone that works there. And their main floor has a bunch of really cool memorabilia and it just seems like an all around really cool place to work and to hang out. Here they have a room of a couple different products they're showing off. Some stuff for pigs. That thing is uh, for soap for the high pressure washer. And then this is kind of to replace a foot bath. It's a foam mattress that cows walk on after they're done being milked and it foams up some product and that disinfects and takes care of the cow's hooves. Specifically this one for digital dermatitis or hairy heel work. So that's pretty interesting. Wouldn't have to fix on our foot bath anymore if we had this thing. Nice and soft. Apparently we're going to see that at the, their uh, test dairy farm later today, so. This is a bit of a lab room where they can have people working on different chemicals. Uh, they have a bunch of soaps and other stuff that you can use on farms. So this is where they come up with all the solutions and uh, trial stuff. So pretty cool to see this. Uh, really interesting. It's like a lab. Um, the next thing here is a rec center. And this is kind of off of their office. And they just have some workout equipment. You saw the court there. So here we're in their main kind of employee lounge area where they're all eating. It's a pretty cool picture on the wall here. The guy started selling their products on the scooter and then he went to a van and now in a big semi. And they started out in Holland all the way in the end and they made it uh, to France. You see the Eiffel Tower and then to the States, Statue of Liberty. So some pretty cool details. Got an ear tag table. And there's some more pictures on the other side here of their history. This is their kind of shop where they take warranty claims and, and fix stuff. And then this is uh, their first warehouse. They also put on some uh, steel toes onto my boots. High-vis jacket. It's pretty serious out here. Off to the next bay of their warehouse. They have some order fulfillment uh, places here. There's people packing boxes for orders. And uh, this is their outbound bay. So you can see there's a bunch of overhead doors there on the wall. Trucks are backing up to there and they're filling them up with orders. So we're in their warehouse now and this is what he called a bunker. So they got a bunch of chemicals here, acids and other more intense stuff. And their normal warehouses have steel roofs and this bunker has a concrete roof. And he said the doors will close within 30 seconds and if they ever had to extinguish a fire they would not put it out with water. They'd pump CO2 into this room and extinguish it like that. There's rows and rows of shelves. So this is where all the products come from uh, that eventually get to our farm. <laughs> Crazy to see. If we go over to this warehouse, which is quite a bit bigger. Insane. They got two massive water tanks here. Each of them are holding 750,000 liters of water and that's for their fire extinguishing of the buildings, of the warehouses, of everything here. They must provide water for eight to 10 minutes on their own if there was ever gonna be a fire here for the entire building, so. 
Those are some big tanks of water, just for safety. So this is still their warehouse, but they have a bit of a insane order fulfillment thing behind me. It's a robot, I think it has eight little red cars running all around it. And uh, it's basically a box full of boxes. And these robots, they drive back and forth all together, front and back. And uh, they're picking the boxes that have the items for the orders and they bring them to the people to take the items out. And then they'll bring the box back here to storage. So maybe it's a little bit easier to explain if I show you guys. There's eight of those little red guys driving back and forth along the grid on top. And there is, well, it looks like you can stack 20 boxes deep, those gray boxes. And uh, they're all different products, so it's not a full row of the same product. It can be a different product under this box here. They'll just take it, lift it out of the way, grab the box they want, bring it to the front there where somebody can take the product out. And you can see there's all different uh, items in each box. Well, there they start driving again. You can see how you can just go back and forth. Oh, he's going to the to the charging port, I guess. Hey, you can see those two guys. They just grabbed a box, moving it around. Super complicated, but uh, this is insane. Back to the charger. Cool. This is the floor level of that big box robot. And they're just bringing him down to that guy who's picking the items out for the orders. Crazy. Done with the tour, and they're gonna give us a nice lunch here. Looks good. You bet. So we left their head office at Schippers, now we're at their demo farm and they were just showing me something really interesting. They got some traps for mice and rats and other pests and they say they're not allowed to use so much poison here in the Netherlands but uh, what they do then instead they got a trap that smells like lion urine and fire and that's because when rats and other pests smell fire they want to flee and well the lion is the king of the jungle he's the supreme predator so they also are scared of that so they're going to stay away from the farm because of those smells so that alone already just on the outside of this barn is pretty interesting so this is a bit of a show farm so they got a nice heightened rail here a bit of a balcony so you can look over the entire farm but it looks like they got the two robots over there some dry cows here i think they got their heifers in the back and uh, the farmer here He's just explaining all of their ideas with the Schippers High Care and how it all works and how they've applied it in this farm. So you guys can look down there. This farm is absolutely spotless. I guess they got computer feeders there. You can see the door closed behind the cow so the cows can't bugger. But uh, yeah, they got the flex free stalls up here in the dry cows uh, pen. They're sleeping on mattresses bit of sawdust on there and then their milk cows are with deep bedding straw really nice uh, view from here this is their main feed alley you can see they got the coating there for on top of the concrete so the cows have a clean pore free surface to eat off of feed pusher it is also a slatted barn there's so much information here it's also a slatted barn so all the manure falls straight down underneath uh, to the pit underneath the barn and they've got a uh, robot over there that's pushing the manure through the slats as well there's a lot going on in this barn so now we're standing right on top of the two Lely robots 
this is one of the Skipper products, the foot bath. It's a foot mat. We got the other robot right there. So we're now on the ground level of the barn. We just walked in here. He has three packs here. Alley in front and these are for cows that are calving. He said he just brings them over as soon as they're about to calve. Wants to leave them in the group as long as possible. He's also got a hoop trim chute here. Pretty neat. And then he can hold those cows here in the group. They can sort out of the robot, keep a couple here. And then he can walk them through his hoop trim chute here. So we're now at the back of the barn. We were standing up there earlier. Like I said, the heifers on this side, six months age as they get older, breeding age, and then there are pregnant heifers over there. He said their call rate is about 20% now. So he's breeding 70% of this herd to Belgium blue. And uh, yeah, their replacement side is pretty uh, lightly populated. It's not too overcrowded. And that is because they just need less replacements for their milk herd. This is the robot room. This is the chemicals for foot bath, the pump. And he's also showing me, got their chemicals there for the pressure washer, disinfect the floor. They want to keep everything off the floors in this room so it's easy to clean. Pressure washer lines on a reel make everything super convenient. Next thing we got here is the foot mat from Skippers and this is the thing I was kind of most interested in seeing work on the dairy farm. And I just wanted to see how it coated the cow's hooves and you can see it pretty clearly here. It does an excellent job of making sure that solution does get on the right area of the cow's hooves. You guys will see that in just a second here when this lady walks across. You can see it just oozes the solution and they're using a formaldehyde solution here. And uh, that's really good for digital dermatitis. So I'm impressed by this foot mat. This is where the calves come when they're first born. They get their individual pen. And when they get a little bit older, group pens. And then after to this side. Finally found some Fent tractors out here. That's their feed wagon set up. Well, thank you guys uh, for the tour of the head office. You're welcome. You're welcome, and, uh, yeah. it, was, it was a good time for sure. Sure hope so. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a really cool tour, a lot of fun, and uh, thanks to everyone who showed me around. If you guys want to learn more about anything you saw in this video, more about the high care system, or that foot mat, skippers in general, check the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching.